Hello everyone. In this video, we'll discuss a checklist that project managers, team members, and of course, solution architects can use to understand the deliverables expected from a software solutions architect. But first, let's understand the broader responsibilities shouldered by the architect. An architect's primary responsibility is to create designs for a software solution. It's essential to note that an architect is not responsible for implementing the solution. The architect's job is to interpret functional and non-functional requirements and transform them into cloud design patterns and suitable components. The design also includes the solution's approach aspects such as observability and supportability. Finally, the design must adhere to all business, financial, compliance and organizational requirements. With this understanding, let's go through the solution architect's checklist. First task is develop an architecture design specification that includes disaster recovery plans and addresses security and compliance. The specification must meet the solution's functional and non-functional requirements and include provisions for routine, ad hoc and emergency operations. Next is create architecture design diagrams that illustrate all aspects of the system design from a broad overview to detailed dimensions such as network and identity. There are multiple types of diagrams that can be used such as high-level system diagram, block diagram, user flow diagram, flowchart, etc. Next is maintain an architecture decision record or ADR that contains justifications for architectural decisions that are made during design process. The ADR documents all key decisions including alternatives that you ruled out. It incorporates requirements and constraints into the documented effects of a decision. Next is collaborate with the workload team during implementation to provide clarity and recommendations about the implementation sequence. Implementation is the stage where the design is put to test and there are instances where it has to be tweaked or fixed. So an architect needs to have a continuous dialogue between implementation team and other stakeholders. Next is support modeling exercises that provide contextualized information to understand workloads from various perspectives. These details include things like how much it costs, how well the applications are running and other relevant factors. This is helpful in defining things like billing models, service level agreements, etc. Next is provide optimization recommendations that are based on observations of usage patterns and changes in solution functionality or cloud provider changes. The optimization can be for cost or performance. Next is participate in audit compliance and confidence reviews to provide a valuable perspective to external parties who have the authority to conduct reviews. Last on the list is be a consultant during change reviews to provide insight into the estimated cost of change and feasibility. So this is the list of deliverable tasks that are expected of a solution architect. With this, you now have a better understanding of what a day in a life of a solution architect look like. If you found this video insightful, please support me by hitting the like and subscribe button. Until next time, stay curious, stay data driven.